Hey y'all, Kevin with Lazy Pond Farm here. Today I'm going to show you how to camouflage paint a white igloo cooler. I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum Camouflage 2X Ultra Cover. I've got some green, a dark brown, and this coyote tan. Basically I'm going to spray paint the entire cooler with the dark color, this dark brown here. Then I'm going to go back and layer and shadow using stencils. For stencils I've got some pieces of this grass root here and a few different sticks. Just kind of break up the pattern and uh, you'll see the finished product. It ends up looking pretty good. Now this is one of my older coolers and we use it a lot for hunting. And sometimes it gets strapped to a four-wheeler and it sits out in the woods, sometimes near a spot we're hunting. So you don't want this bright white cooler sticking out like a sore thumb. So I figured this year I'd go ahead and get it camouflaged and have it all prepped up for this coming hunting season. To prep this cooler, I sprayed it with bleach and scrubbed it with a scrub brush. Wanted to make sure there was no dirt or dust that would cause any paint to flake off later. I like starting with a dark color to cover the entire cooler. That way, you know, if you miss any spots or it's not perfectly blended, you don't have any white showing through. It's, it's going to be the nice dark color. With the base coat finished, we're ready to start stenciling over with some of the other colors here. I'm going to start with the coyote tan. The first stencil I'm going to use is the grass root. What you want for a stencil is something flat that you can hold flush to the piece you're stenciling over. If there's too many arcs, you'll get under spray and over spray. Turkey talking over there. You'll get under spray and your pattern won't really hold. I'm going to switch it up and go to another color and try and come in these spots that are solid and I'm going to continue to layer until the pattern starts to look good. Now I'm going to come in with a bit of this green.
I'm just going to continue to layer back and forth with each color with the different stencils until it looks how I like it. Now I'm going to go through and spray the rest of the cooler and as I get the entire cooler done anything I see later that I want to touch up I'll come back through and add a little bit to it. Now when this dries up real good, I'll flip it over and paint the bottom a nice solid color. Probably go back with that brown that I used as the base coat here. And it'll be done. Three cans of spray paint in about, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes of your time. All the stencils came right out of the yard. Grass roots, sticks. Uh, what else did I use? I used a branch off of this uh, crab apple tree here and you get a nice camo cooler. If you guys like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you from Kevin at Lazy Pond Farm.